Hello, I'm Shauna Forsberg, President and CEO of United Way of the Midlands, and it's such a pleasure to have all of you with us here today. Today is really about celebrating you, the impact each of you have made by generously supporting United Way and our community. We're excited to recognize and celebrate seven United Way partners who have gone above and beyond this year to support our community. And we'll present the Citizens of the Year Award to an absolutely amazing couple. Then to wrap things up and help us get everyone inspired to assist with the critical work ahead, we are thrilled to have the University of Nebraska at Lincoln Athletics Director, Mr. Bill Moose. All of this is made possible thanks to our amazing annual meeting sponsors, Blue Cross Blue Shield of Nebraska, Cobalt Credit Union, Children's Hospital and Medical Center, First National Bank of Omaha, Lincoln Financial Group, the Lopez Children's Charitable Fund, Senator Mike McDonald's campaign, Nebraska Center for Workforce Development and Education, Nebraska Medicine, Omaha Federation of Labor, OPPD, Union Pacific, Tenasca, UNO, UNMC, Baxter, Boys and Girls Club of the Midlands, EMC Insurance, Lindsay Corporation, MUD, Mutual of Omaha, Ortho Nebraska, Security National Bank, US Bank, Belmont, BNA, and the amazing women of the Tocqueville Women's Initiative and Women United for generously supporting our 2020 Citizens of the Year Mary and Rodrigo Lopez. Thank you so much for your partnership and support. I think this is a great example of showcasing how our community comes together. This, really does, it, well, this work really does take a village and I'm so pleased to get to acknowledge and thank the partners that we have the honor of working with. The extraordinary Omaha Council Bluffs business community with 600 organizations taking part in the United Way campaign our funded health and human service agencies. We're so honored to partner with these amazing organizations. They are on the front lines providing support to those who need it most. And given the immense challenges that COVID has brought to our community, this has required innovative thinking, flexibility, and a candy spirit. Please look to the screen to see the listing of these amazing partners. We truly thank them for their heroic work. To the thoughtful and astute local foundations who lend their support and expertise, which has been so critical during COVID. To our board of directors and their thoughtful leadership and guidance, led this year, past year by C. Kanievsky, the president and CEO of Belmont Industries, and now led by board chair Gail DeBoer, the president and CEO of Cobalt Credit Union. To our 2019 United Way campaign chairs, James and Paula Blackledge, they have such heart for this work and with their insightful leadership and support by the entire team at Mutual of Omaha, the 2019 campaign raised an incredible $19.4 million for our community. I'd also like to extend our thanks to the 2020 campaign chairs, Clark and Emily Lauritsen. We are thrilled to be working with them and the team at First National Bank of Omaha this year. To the more than 250 Tocqueville Society members who support and leadership that's the standard for generous giving. To United Way's affinity groups, the emerging leaders who focus their effort on the Raise Me to Read initiative, and Women United who are passionately supporting the Opportunity Youth Initiative. The many generous organizations who have been partners in this work, including Senator Mike McDonald and the Omaha Federation of Labor for their partnership on blue collar boxing. Our two on one partners, such as Children's Hospital and NEHI, state legislators and local Nebraska United Ways, the Nebraska Department of Education for their work with youth and families who are homeless, and our media partners across television, radio, print, and outdoor. For a full listing of all of these sponsors and all of our media partners, you can view them online at our annual report. After this call today, we're going to send out a link so you can see everything there. And finally, to the amazing United Way staff, a group of knowledgeable and caring leaders who work to make a positive difference in our community every day. We are thankful for these many supporters, especially during this past year. Their dedication has really never been more apparent. So let's get started by talking about progress. 
Before the pandemic hit, we were making great strides as an organization and as a community thanks to your support. In 2019, floodwaters swept across Nebraska and Iowa, displacing families, destroying homes, and devastating communities. But with your help, we raised incremental dollars for immediate crisis response and long-term recovery efforts. In addition, recently re released data from the American Center or American Community Survey shows that the number of people in poverty has decreased by 7% here in the metro. And United Way donors provided tremendous support. 56,000 mental health services, 259,000 shelter nights, 16,000 children received mentoring and out-of-school time support. 5,900 young people had career training and secured employment, and over 8,000 adults gained skill development and job placement. But then COVID-19 disrupted the way that we all work and live. This severely affected these gains and caused existing social and economic disparities to widen. We saw thousands of people across different age groups, races, genders, and locations lose their jobs. Unemployment reached as high as 10%, and we now know that there are many more people who are underemployed. This has created an entirely new demographic, the newly in need. Local agencies serve three times more individuals this year to help them meet their basic needs. For example, United Way funded more than 4 million meals in the metro area. And since COVID-19, 23% of Nebraskans and 21% of Iowans have missed a rent or mortgage payment. And as this pandemic continues, the long-term effects are also beginning to add up. We know education was disrupted for nearly all children this past year, and recent research at the national level shows that only 60% of learners from low-income families regularly log into classwork, compared to 90% of children from high-income families. And estimates show, on average, students will lose up to seven months of learning. These impacts highlight the critical need to support vulnerable populations, many of who, or many of who are disproportionately impacted due to existing inequities. We see evidence of this right here in our community. When we address poverty, we primarily serve low-income populations, with the majority of clients served through United Way funding earning less than $15,000 annually. And while 70% or 75% of our population is white, about half of the clients we serve are people of color. So as we look to the future, we're concerned that wage, education, and other gaps will only continue to widen due to existing inequities. Thankfully, due to the immediate response from our amazing board of directors, the executive committee, thought leaders from across the Metro, United Way and our partners have been able to quickly adapt our strength lies in our ability to pull people together to determine the best way to move forward. And it was truly humbling to witness just how quickly everyone jumped in to help us strategize and ascertain how to meet the community's increased needs. And all of our funded programs and the entire staff at United Way also deserve to be recognized by putting in the hard work and making the innovative adjustments necessary to execute these response efforts. However, none of these efforts would have been possible without the overwhelming generous support of people like you. With your help, we raised 19.4 million for our community, and we're so proud to share that 92 cents of every dollar is going directly back to the Omaha Council Bluffs Metro. We shortened our community investments from two years to one year timeframe and created two rounds of funding. During the first funding disbursement, we invested donor dollars into programs immediately responding to the COVID-19 pandemic, with a significant portion of the total investment allocated to programs meeting people's basic needs. We recently invested the second wave of funding with an emphasis on financial stability and education programs serving vulnerable populations that had been disproportionately hit by this pandemic. We partnered with Blue Cross Blue Shield of Nebraska, First National Bank of Omaha, Mutual of Omaha, and the Greater Omaha Chamber of Commerce on our Mask Up Metro Awareness Campaign, which, is in, which encourages community members to wear masks to mitigate the spread of COVID-19. Ideal Images, Mangelson's, the City of Omaha Fire Department, the Omaha Storm Chasers, and Union Omaha donated more than 18,000 masks 
to nonprofit agencies as part of this campaign. The Opportunity Youth Alliance partners are still hard at work to assist youth who have been disconnected from school or work. This initiative has served 1,355 youth since it was launched in 2017. And as more and more youth become disconnected due to COVID-19, the services provided will be more important than ever. We thank our Women United for their tireless support of this initiative. We also launched a very exciting partnership with Jobs for America graduates, which aims to deliver student-centered programming in schools so that youth are prepared to enter the workforce or post-secondary education. With the generous support of Governor Ricketts, Commissioner John Albin, and the Nebraska Department of Labor. We are pleased to be working with our Emerging Leaders Group, MOAC, the Iowa West Foundation, Family Inc., and the Learning Community on the Raise Me to Read initiative. And we're honored to be part of the Commitment to Opportunity, Diversity, and Equity Coalition and to be joining together with the Greater Omaha Chamber of Commerce, the Latino Center for the Midlands, and Urban League on the next phase of the Strategic Foresight Project. Thanks to our sponsors, National Bank of Omaha and Facebook, we hosted Unlock the Power Within You, a virtual event featuring Chris Gardner. Chris is a critically acclaimed author and speaker, and we were so honored to have more than 2,200 people join us to hear him and share his experiences with homelessness and discuss how we can, cr can create change in our lives. We partner with the Boy Scouts to host Scouting for Food, a food drive benefiting the Food Bank for the Heartland. With the support of our sponsors, Warner Enterprises and Target, the Scouts were able to collect more than 75,000 meals, ensuring more people can feed their families here in our community. Our 211 helpline served the entire state of Nebraska and Iowa and plays a vital role when disaster strikes. Contacts during the flood of 2019 increased 50%, and this spring when the pandemic hit, it increased by 170%. Through the end of September, there's been 135,000 contacts, nearly 500 per day, and the top request has been for housing, utility assistance, healthcare, and food. Thanks to Senator McDonnell and the Nebraska legislature, we received funding from the state, which allowed us to implement 24-7 service and expand outreach to build awareness of the helpline. This year, we will add a mobile app as another option to our neighbors to access health and, and social service assistance. And we're so excited to share with you two new 211 partnerships. Our partnership with Unite Nebraska, a coordinated care network of health and social care providers sponsored by the Nebraska Health Information Initiative and Help Me Grow Nebraska, an initiative focused on vulnerable children zero to five of age and their families, led and funded by Children's Hospital and in partnership with Monroe Meyer and UNL Center for Children, Families, and the Law. Now, as we look to the future, we're even more committed to continuing to evolve and to adapt to the service of our community. Since we updated our mission and investment structure through the organizational strategic plan process in 2012, we have made considerable progress, creating an open multi-year investment process focused on poverty, launching the Opportunity Youth Alliance and Campaign for Grade Level Reading, expanding 211 information referral services, and so much more. But because we realize many of the goals outlined in the strategic plan, we know it's time for United Way to move forward with even greater precision. Together with a task force of community leaders and thought partners, we will spend the next year updating and revising our strategic plan to ensure we remain responsive to the community and donor interests to elevate our priorities and processes so we can make greater impact in the metro as we look towards 2025 and beyond. So as you can see, despite the significant challenges we face, together we've made great strides to respond to the increased needs in the wake of COVID-19 pandemic. Crises like these either bring out the worst of people or the best, and I've been lucky enough to witness the very best here in the metro. There is still a very long road ahead of us with the heart, determination, and generosity of our community, 
I am confident that we can continue to do this work necessary to get people back on their feet. If nonprofit, nonprofits, government agencies, organizations, and people like you continue to work together, we will come out of this on the other side stronger. So from the bottom of my heart, thank you. Thank you for caring so deeply about this community. Thank you for your commitment to living united, even in a time characterized by isolation. And thank you for giving so generously when hardships abound and resources are limited. You are all community heroes, and United truly starts with you. Now I hope you'll enjoy our 2020 campaign video. I was totally torn apart from life and just struggling all the time. Alcohol, drugs, gambling, got in a lot of trouble. I knew nothing about babies. I had never even held a baby before. We hear the voices of need in our community. Thanks to you, United Way partners are a stepping stone away from crisis and onto a better life. Answering to the human needs around us is part of our history. No matter how big the disaster, no matter how great the need, when the floodwaters of desperation hit home, United Way is there. Do we survive tough times? The truth is, we do better because United Way brings everyone together, united for those who need us. 2020 delivered a disaster with no playbook. It is devastating to see our residents who are already in need struggle emotionally and economically. They're not alone. During this COVID-19 pandemic, we're finding new ways to help the newly in need. They called 211 for help, 60,000 calls, more than double the record-setting number of calls during the 2019 floods. United Way partners answered the call and volunteers stepped up community-wide. We're serving almost four times as many people with a week's supply of groceries, all without any contact. So everyone's able to practice social distancing and we're still able to meet the need of the community. Food insecurity impacts more than 100,000 people. That's at least one in every five children. And now the need for food has skyrocketed. The road to recovery for a lot of our friends and families in Omaha is going to be long. This is not over anytime soon. COVID tripled our normally low jobless rate. As our local economy recovers, thousands of people are out of work for the first time in their lives, and some lost reliable childcare along with their jobs. United Way is here for the newly in need. Your help, whatever you can give, makes a difference. The pandemic has also created a housing crisis and a health crisis, which highlights long-standing disparities for those at greatest risk. United Way is working with community partners to reach the underserved, address injustice, and build a more inclusive community. Join the conversation with your coworkers and be a part of change. Every single one of our kids has all of the skills and uh, the, the strength necessary to succeed. Did you know some of our young people could lose up to a year's worth of learning in this pandemic? You support United Way partners who work with students one-on-one -on -one so that doesn't happen. We're not gonna change the world unless we have young people held up and able to be successful. When you support United Way, you do make a difference right here in our community. United Way is here, no matter how great the need. We hope you are too, because we do our best work together. Give today. Now it is my sincere pleasure to introduce James Blackledge, the chairman and CEO of Mutual of Omaha, and his wife, Paula. Much of the success of this past year simply would not have happened without James and, James and Paula's leadership of the 2019 campaign. 
So we are thrilled that they're here with us today to present our United Way the Midlands Recognition Rewards. Take it away, James and Paula. Uh, hello, everyone. It's great to be here with you. Uh, I'm guessing Bill Moose could tell you a little better uh, later on here that sometimes quarterbacks get a lot of credit, but really it's the organization, it's the whole team that really makes a, a, a great team uh, work and win. And, and uh, Shauna, you and the United Way team really were the, the backbone behind the campaign last year. We really do appreciate that. And it was a privilege to be part of that. Uh, today, we get the privilege of announcing uh, the Campaign Recognition Awards, and so we're looking forward to that. Uh, approximately 600 organizations supported the United Way of the Midlands during the 2019 campaign, empowering us to create lasting change within our community. To acknowledge these organizations' efforts, especially those who went above and beyond to support the Metro, Paula and I will be presenting the United Way of the Midlands third annual campaign recognition awards. Our first award is for the volunteer organization of the year. This award recognizes companies who consistently strive to improve our community through volunteerism. The winning company was chosen based on the percentage of employees who participated in UWM volunteer events during the 2019 campaign and the winner of the 2019 Volunteer Organization of the Year is OPPD. OPPD is a publicly owned electric utility headquartered in Omaha and serving more than 855,000 people in Omaha and the 13 surrounding counties in Southeast Nebraska. OPPD was formed in 1946 as a political subdivision of the state of Nebraska taking over the operations of Nebraska Power Company that was founded in 1917. OPPD has generously supported United Way through volunteerism for many years. During the 2019 campaign, over 100 of their employees participated in United Way volunteer events. They also conducted an internal book drive through United Way, assisted with an event held for flood victims at the Henry Dorley Zoo, and coordinated a charity volleyball tournament to benefit the United Way Emerging Leaders Literacy Initiative. OPPD's commitment to volunteerism also shows in their leadership level involvement with the United Way on the Emerging Leaders Committee, the CERT Committee, and the Board of Directors. Please join us in extending our congratulations to OPPD. We will next present the new Business Partner of the Year Award. This award recognizes businesses that recently chose to invest in our community through the United Way of the Midlands. Businesses that did not donate to United Way in a prior campaign, were, campaign year were eligible for this award. And the winner of the 2019 New Business Partner of the Year is Ortho Nebraska. Ortho Nebraska is first <clears throat> is Nebraska, Ortho Nebraska is Nebraska's first hospital dedicated to the complete care and treatment of orthopedic patients. They combine state-of-the-art facilities with the nation's top orthopedic surgeons. Ortho Nebraska provides high-quality, cost-effective orthopedic care for your muscle, bone, or joint pain or injury. In 2019, Ortho Nebraska ran an engagement employee fundraiser campaign that raised an impressive sum for the United Way of the Midlands. Please join us in congratulating Ortho Nebraska. We will now present the 2019 Corporate Partner of the Year Awards. Because we know small organizations can still make a big impact, the Corporate Partner of the Year Award will be presented to companies in four different size categories. The selection criteria includes year-over-year -year campaign growth, 
average gift per donor, and participation rate. And the winner of the 2019 Corporate Partner of the Year in the first size category under 100 employees is Union Bank and Trust. Today's Union Bank and Trust was founded as Farmers State Bank and is headquartered in Lincoln, Nebraska. They are a locally owned bank that takes a personal approach to providing a breadth of services with a warm, helpful personality, both in Lincoln and in our community. Union Bank and Trust has been a dedicated United Way partner for more than 15 years. During the 2019 campaign, they exceeded the amount raised through their 2018 campaign by an impressive 17%. Please join us in congratulating Union Bank and Trust. Now for the winner in the Corporate Partner of the Year, 100 to 199 employees category, Coley Jessen. Coley Jessen is a local law firm serving the needs of business owners, executives, and professionals around the country. For businesses of all types, they are active partners who provide multidiscipline counsel to help our clients, their clients, achieve personal and business success. Coley Jessen has been a proud partner of United Way for more than 25 years. During the 2019 campaign year, they exceeded the amount raised through their 2018 campaign by more than 9%. In fact, they have increased their campaign total for the past three years in a row. Please join us in congratulating Coley Jessen. Now for the 2019 Corporate Partner of the Year Award in the 200 to 799 employee size category. We have a tie. It is between Tenasca and the Kellogg Company. Tenasca is a private independent energy company founded in 1987 and headquartered in Omaha, Nebraska with regional offices in Dallas, Denver, Philadelphia, Boston, Houston, and in Calgary and Vancouver in Canada. The company is employee owned and employs approximately 700 people. They have generously donated to our community through United Way for more than 30 years. During the 2019 campaign year, they increased the amount they raised for the United Way of the Midlands in the previous year by 40%, 40%, with an over 93% participation rate within their organization. The Kellogg Company is a multinational food manufacturing company headquartered in Battle Creek, Michigan, with a large facility here in Omaha. It was started by the Kellogg brothers in the early 1900s. They have had a presence in Omaha since the 1940s and built their current location in 1965. Kellogg has generously donated to our community through United Way for more than 25 years. They increased their giving from 2018 to 2019 by over 47 percent. They also co-sponsored an event held at the Henry Dorley Zoo and Aquarium designed to provide a day of joy for those affected by the floods earlier in the year. Please join Paula and me in congratulating Tenasca and the Kellogg Company. And last but not least, our win winner of the 2019 Corporate Partner of the Year in the 800 plus employee category is Blue Cross and Blue Shield of Nebraska. Blue Cross and Blue Shield of Nebraska has provided health care coverage and peace of mind for 80 years. As part of a nationwide association, the Blue Cross and Blue Shield brand represents the nation's largest and most experienced healthcare benefits company, companies. As a Nebraska-based company, they focus on the employee health benefit needs of our fellow Nebraskans. 
They have generously supported United Way of the Midlands for more than 25 years. During the 2019 campaign year, they maintained the same level of giving as in their 2018 campaign, and they were one of the United Way's top partners for leadership giving. Please join us in congratulating Blue Cross and Blue Shield of Nebraska. United Way of the Midlands is so grateful for the support it receives from great organizations and businesses like the ones we recognized here today. Thank you for your passion for this community and your efforts to make it stronger for generations to come. And now it's time for the Citizen of the Year Award. This award has been given out annually since 1972. It is granted to citizens of the Greater Omaha Council Bluffs Metro community for their efforts for and on behalf of United Way and other philanthropic endeavors dedicated to the present and future strength of our community. This year's recipients join an impressive list of community leaders who have helped shape the Omaha Metro, Omaha Council Bluffs metro area. Now, please welcome the 2019 Citizen of the Year recipients, Barbara and Wally Whites. Hello, everybody. Uh, Barb and I are coming to you from our homemade video studio in our basement, uh, which is a laptop on a box of Christmas tree ornaments uh, next to the treadmill. But uh, such is life in the COVID era. Uh, we were humbled last year to be given this award and follow the Smiths, uh, who've done such amazing things in the community. Nobody can follow the Smiths. Well, these next ones. Uh, have they a, can, they, they pretty much could do it, yeah. Right, we're, we're very happy to be handing this off to uh, Mary and Rodrigo. You'll hear an incredible list of accomplishments by um, the Lopez's and um, I really uh, think you'll enjoy watching the video of, about them. I keep learning more and more things they're doing and I'm, have just been amazed at all the all it's just incredible how many different lives they've touched in the time that they've been working with United Way agencies and um, and the people of community of Omaha so it is incredible so um, thank you for a great year we worked so hard <laughs> <laughs> sitting in our respective houses as introverts and, um, but we were absolutely, absolutely honored. And we feel very honored um, to pass the torch. So enjoy the rest of this video, uh, Zoom meeting, and join us in saying thank you to the two amazing people who've made a real difference in Omaha, Rodrigo and Mary Lopez. And enjoy the lunch that uh, whatever it is you're serving yourself. Yes. Uh, tea at and home salad. on your couch. Yeah, yummy. So long. Bye. What makes Rodrigo and Mary so special is that they complement each other as a team. Mary is somewhat of a convener in that she brings together people. Rodrigo, he's got a very big heart born and raised in Columbia. When you come to America as an immigrant, you're more open to what's possible. Mary and Rodrigo have been very focused on building careers as, as a young couple, raising children, the focus of much of what they've done in their lives. They are both adventuresome. Mary and Rodrigo love to travel. They take big risks as a couple. In 2002, we became partners in the creation of Amerisphere, which he built into a national organization. You know, it doesn't surprise me that Rodrigo worked his way to becoming the leader of Mortgage Bankers Association of America, the MBA, you know, made a great difference in an environment that was difficult going through the uh, Great Recession in 2008. There will be 15.9 million new households over the next uh, 10 years. 
Mary started out as an educator. She was an art teacher. With her experience in education, she brought some pretty remarkable things to the OHA board. Mary saw women could have a little bit of a different role in United Way, one that involved women in a very direct way. She was a founder of what at that time was called the Women's Leadership Council. She helped to build that to what it is today. When Mary and Rodrigo decided to endow their scholarships, they did not do it simply by making a commitment of X number of dollars. They stay close to them, they follow them, and they work very hard to make sure that they make it through the system successfully. Setting aside my friendship with them, I love what they're doing for the community. I, I need our employees to feel like Omaha is vibrant, welcoming, inclusive. Capital Place is a great example of that. It's engaged the downtown community very effectively. It's aesthetically pleasing. Uh, it attracts you in. As Rodrigo took over the leadership of Children's Hospital, their building was not complete. The apartments were not rented. The retail space was not committed. Much of that responsibility fell on Mary. And it's, it's really been a joy to watch how successful she's been with things. Rodrigo's willingness to step up to lead Children's Hospital through a difficult interim period is just typical of Rodrigo. One of their most precious commodities is their children. When their daughter was just a young teenager, she had become quite ill. Children's worked very closely with them and it built a commitment from Rodrigo and Mary to be supportive of Children's Hospital. He instilled confidence. What has been built is not just a building. It's a home they never intended to have, but it's one that was life-saving for their family. Mary and Rodrigo share a vision of the world and of the community where you give more than you take and you find ways to use your particular skills to make a difference. They've instilled in their own two children and then their children's spouses the spirit of volunteerism, it gives me great confidence in what we can expect in this, in this community. A little bit like the Marines ad that you see today where it takes a special person to run to the conflict, Mary and Rodrigo run to the need. Good afternoon. We want to thank United Way of the Midlands and especially Barb and Wally Whites for selecting us for this wonderful honor. Many thanks to Shauna Forsberg and her team and Loretta Carroll for the beautiful video. It was a walk down memory lane of the many people and causes we have come to know through our years of community service in Omaha. A very special thanks to Annette and Paul Smith for their friendship, and for their encouragement of us being selected for this honor. And to Annie Bird, Lance Fritz, and Mike McCarthy for your kind reflections on the work we have done to help make our community a better place for all people to live. And finally, a heartfelt thanks to all of you who have been our partners through the years in supporting many of these causes. Rodrigo and I have always felt that service has been a glue of sorts in our 38 years of marriage. It gave us hours of discussion, sometimes debates, about the issues that confront our community, how our many excellent nonprofit organizations can address these needs, and also how we can play a role in supporting the work of these organizations. The other and most important glue in our marriage has been our family. They are our dreams realized as we watched our two children, David and Anna, grow up, marry our amazing in-law kids, Sarah and Hassan, and then start to raise their own families with our beautiful grandchildren, Ben, Nora, and Claire. We have made it our sincere goal to glue the two together, our love of family and our dedication to service to our community. We have actively started the process of passing the baton of service on to our family who have enthusiastically accepted the opportunity and responsibility. Indeed, 
They are our future, and their generation is part of all our futures. They will see issues and step up to challenges we have not yet seen or addressed, and the world will be a better place as a result. Because of that, we share this honor with them. Thank you to all our friends, family, and colleagues who have joined us virtually today, and thank you again for this wonderful honor. Thank you. What an amazing couple. Um, I had the pleasure of working closely with Rodrigo and when he served as our board chair and with both Mary and Rodrigo when they served as United Way campaign chairs. Uh, they are truly remarkable community members and they work tirelessly to make our Metro a better place. So happy we could celebrate them today. And now it's my pleasure to introduce our special guest speaker, Bill Moose. As many of you are aware, Bill is the athletic director at the University of Nebraska-Lincoln. He began his career as an athletic administrator in 1982 when he was hired on as the assistant athletic director at Washington State. He would go on to serve as the athletic director for three Division I schools over the course of 25 years. He had an impressive track record of success building outstanding programs, and we are so honored to have him speak on our behalf of United Way today. Thank you for that introduction, Shauna. I'm honored to be speaking to you all on behalf of Clark and Emily Lauritsen, our great partners at First National Bank and the United Way. Giving back to the communities I've been a part of throughout my career has always been important to me because in college athletics, the community is what makes it a success or not. I've been around a few stops and let me tell you, Nebraskans know how to support their communities and of course, their Huskers. I operate under the motto, honor the past, live the present, create the future. And I know that it's impossible to create that future if everyone on your team isn't taking a united approach and working toward the same vision. That's where the United Way comes in. They bring the right players to the table to ensure everyone is working together in a strategic way to create a better future for our communities. I've personally seen the value of working together as a cohesive team to achieve goals many times throughout my career. And my hope is we're all going to see that with our Husker football team as Coach Frost continues to build a winning team culture. We all need to support them as they kick off the season tomorrow against an excellent Ohio State team. The challenges our state is facing right now are far greater with much higher consequences than any I've seen before in my career. COVID-19 has left more people struggling and in need than ever before. But I think the same principles apply. We're better when we're working together. This year, like never before, is a time for us to show up for people in need in a big way. It's the fourth quarter, the stakes are high, and our backs are against the wall. But this is a must win. I'm confident that united, we can go the distance Let's help our neighbors in need by giving back to United Way and encourage others to do the same. By working together, we can create a future we can all be proud of. Thank you so much for having me and go Big Red. Now I'd like to hand it back to Shauna to wrap up today's event. Thank you, Bill. As a third generation UNL grad and with our son in his freshman year at UNL, it was humbling to have you here with us today. We truly appreciate your inspiring words and go Huskers. Congratulations again to the award winners today. Your leadership and passion is vital. And to Mary and Rodrigo, we love you and your amazing spirit. Thank you for all you do for our community. Thank you to all our sponsors who stepped up in this virtual environment to support our annual meeting today. We truly appreciate everyone joining us. You are all heroes. 
Your support and passion provide great hope for an even stronger community. I'd also like to invite you to view online our annual report at unitedwaymidlands.org 2020 annual report. Thank you for being with us today and we hope everyone has a great afternoon.